This is Kirk Bone, chill on the set of Big Facts. Make sure you check out my episode. You're listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream. Live from the Trap Music Museum is DJ Scream, Big Bank, Baby Jade. And today on Big Facts, we'd like to welcome the DC legend, Kurt Bone. What's up, Kurt Bone? Hey, welcome, up, welcome, welcome to Big yeah. Facts. Man, man, glad to be here, man. Thanks for having me. Thanks for pulling up, man. Definitely. Thanks for pulling up. Uh, I, guess I, I guess I'll start by asking you, uh, you know, uh, uh, with your reputation, you know, like, like being an OG and everything, like, mm-hmm. what made you decide to say one day that I kind of want to get out here and talk a little more and tell my story? You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people... You know they come from your background. They don't do a lot of talking. Right. Yeah. So what made you decide to say, man? I'm finna get out here, have my own podcast, right. go kick some gems or some other podcast stuff like that. Yeah, a couple of reasons, man. The work I do in DC with the mentor on joint, right? So a lot of I'm relatable to a lot of young dudes, but I talk to them in small groups. Mm-hmm. So everybody say, man, you need to you know go on a bigger platform. Also, the late great John Thomas, the coach for Georgetown, mm-hmm. man, him was real cool. Okay. So we always talk a lot. He's always say, man, I heard this and heard that. I say, yeah, they they say a lot of shit. So he's it's cool to come on this joint. Of course. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He, say, he, say, he, say, he say, he say, he say, he say, yeah. Okay, okay. My bad, my, my bad, my bad. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Some people be like, man, YouTube is taking our money, all that shit. So I, I don't, yeah. you know, I don't want to put nobody bread, right? But, but right. yeah, but John, he was like saying, man, look, you gotta tell your own story. Cause uh, you die, somebody gonna tell your story, right? So I said, I want to reach out there and change some jewels, you know, and touch some people. Mm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And then coming from DC, we was just chopping it out before. Like uh, you was just saying, there's a lot of similarities, like. A lot of people say DC was one of the first places they seen black people like yeah. getting money. You was just and saying, thriving and thriving for sure. Yeah. You was just saying Atlanta yeah. kind of gives you like yeah, the vibe man. of the old DC. Talk yeah. about that. Yeah, a it gave me the feel of old DC. Every time I come down, it feel like it's the '80s in DC. You know what I'm saying? Because like you say in DC, opportunities was presented to us on a big level, especially with the Burn Burn time we created PG County with all that money we was getting. So like and a lot of. <laughs> A lot of yeah, government, you no know, bless you. A lot of government hey. contracts coming through DC. So you had a lot of young black millionaires, even to the day that ain't that's just straight government contracts. So now it's getting a little gentrified. So you don't see, like when I'm down here, I see a lot of black. You know what I'm saying? Like I did up there, right? But mm-hmm. the money always is flowing through the government uh, jobs and also with the uh, government contracts. What 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 led you do, you? do you think to the uh, the life of the streets and hustling? You know what I'm saying? Was it was it one of those things where? You had to do it to survive, or was it one of those things where you just was influenced by your climate? To be truthful, more more so influenced by the climate, because I wasn't one of them dudes that got a story about your mother ain't feed you and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, my mother kept a good job, <laughs> step, step follow work. You know what I'm saying? But like for real, for real, from where I, where I was from, I was like a leader about four or five neighborhoods with the fighting shit, right? Mm. So there were the trash is too. Like actual street. fighting? Yeah, uh huh. You were bad. Yeah, yeah, bad, yeah, yeah, yeah. That touch a few. Known for that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, got little, I got a little history with that, so right? Touch a few. Yeah, I got a little history with that, right? So, so yeah, so when it, when it crack and all that. Hit right, it just the, the system was in place, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I just took a random the system, system was designed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about the system, my, my clients here the system, right? But yeah, it was the, that system was designed, yeah. yeah, yeah. So they dropped it off the sky, right? Right, you know, they dropped it off the sky. Oh man, mm-hmm. it's funny though, because I tell people not to cut you off, like you know, you see all these documentaries, all this America against all that, shit, it's the same timeline. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Early 80s to late 80s, right? Mm. Yeah. All of a sudden, everybody just got smart. You know what I'm saying? You right. got all these brilliant ideas, right? They they drop it out of the sky. If they drop some out of the sky, usually the smart gonna get it, the strong gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's just how it's gonna work out. Mm. So what, 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 like, what, how you was first introduced to like going to the streets? What, like, what do you ask them, like? Man, my first, well, before I got in the streets, I used to work for the crap house, the old dude had the crap house. I was run to the store for him. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the pool. Too, I, I was around, yeah, yeah, was, yeah. So now I'm around all the best dudes that come through. I mean, these old dudes, Bob Wayne, IJ, these dudes in Alcatraz. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, niggas that was in Alcatraz protecting Bumpy Johnson. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm around these dudes, yeah. right? As a kid, though, I'm yeah. like 11, 10. Yeah. So when I'm seeing how they move, how they talk, their charisma, they got businesses. So it was like, that's who I really want to be like. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it was like, that inspired me right there. And then once you, once you in that vibe and, and the drill is right there, it's kind of like, it was just right there. You know what I'm saying? Then I had to, like I said, I had the team of dudes. Like every neighborhood, men's with the respect I have with the streets, I knew the tough guy every neighborhood. So it was like, so it wasn't like they're going to get robbed. It was, just, it was just set up easy for me, right? Yeah. But yeah, but you know, that's how that was. But I was always influenced by the older dudes in that crap house in that pool room. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's where I got all my lessons mm-hmm. from, all of it. How you get introduced to uh, Rayford Edmonds? 
Uh, we had a we had a, a big fight at my at my high school. Some dudes from his neighborhood got transferred to my high school. They got put out of their high school. Mm-hmm. So they came over trying the same little trick, but now I know it was a different landscape. So we just like get out of them real bad. So they end up contacting him, and we end up meeting at some point. Uh, you know, about a week or two later, mm-hmm. and then we, you know we broke bread after that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's how that's how we got a chance to meet him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And. and- Keeping it real, we always have to yeah. do our research. Hey man, before we it, you said have a big convers- fact. Yeah, big facts. <laughs> keep it real. Oh, man. Doing a bid and being incarcerated mm-hmm. and keeping it solid and mm-hmm. not telling nobody. Mm-hmm. I guess what was it inside of you, you know, that made you solid and made you do that? Mm-hmm. And was there ever a time inside where you were just frustrated from being so solid? No, nah, because again, like like when you asked about where I got it from, like I was, it was ingrained in me from yeah. watching them mm-hmm. and hearing them, right? Like it was like I wanted to be solid, even as a little kid. You know what I'm saying? You imagine you, yeah. you nine years old. They say, mm-hmm. I right, go to the store and get everybody the, the, the sandwiches and bring out back the sodas. So that's how. Okay, they say you want. I say yeah, give me like twenty dollars. They say I'm giving it to you. I'm, I'm loaning it to you. I say, well, you loan it to me. So they, they holding it. All right, before I let it go, you, you, I'm loaning this to you, right? So little small principles like that, mm. Mm. it's stuck in my brain. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, so people equivalent, yeah. equivalent, not telling with toughness. Yeah, that don't got nothing to do no, with no, it. it. Some of the toughest yeah. niggas in the country yeah, yeah, telling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Because they yeah, feel they can come outside and deal with it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like, it got to be in you. It got to be engraved. Yeah, it got to exactly. be understood. You know, all the way back for your grandmother. You know, you tell your grandma, Mom, you know, they getting some, some food out of the refrigerator. She's like, okay, that's my baby. You come back the third time says, okay, don't be a teller-teller, man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, exactly. so, so it's like, like that. It's like, like, great, Jimmy. Mm. Mm-hmm. Real it's shit, great, that yeah. shit be like, it, it, it's like, it like you down there slapping your grandma. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Like, it's some shit that just be like, how could you, how? Yeah. So it's like, another nigga ain't gonna understand, like, you know they got a new thing now that they saying, like, when nigga tell, like, he told cuz, Cuz what? <laughs> how you? How's a cuz behind? We, he told cuz yeah. like trying to explain to you why a nigga told. Mm-hmm. Right. You told. You told. As if there is any plausible expo- explanation. He told cuz, like, but nah, you he right though. That yeah. shit just got to be something like, Mm-mm. like when you come from a place to where niggas to get niggas get kind of a badge, like when he when he was solid, like mm-hmm. nigga, like shit, that nigga that's solid, he ain't ooh, niggas saying they know he ain't gonna tell, like niggas be wanting that on they main, mm-hmm. like like what he saying, like them crowds sitting around niggas that we know the niggas that I look up to, how they think about snitches and how they, you know what I'm saying? So that shit just kind of be just in you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. And, and even when they, like I, I had a childhood friend, his father told. He's solid as a rock, but he been living his whole life as the trying to rat. prove that he not his father. You know what I'm saying? That's the pressure the hood put on you, right? Yes. Like he, when, oh, yeah, yeah. You down there be that. You down there be that. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, like when yeah. niggas tell and they be having, like, families and shit, they don't consider the ramifications yeah. for their family. Like, mm. that'll tarnish not only their so name, Rayford but... So, Ray for told. Yeah, Ray for told. Yeah, he ended up telling about it. He was locked up on 10 years into his bit, and he ended up catching another child, and he worked with the government. Who he told on? Some Columbia dudes who he was getting a connect from, and some DC dudes who he was he he was hitting. Damn, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Now I broke the whole city hall. You know what I'm saying? We used to lay our head on that. You know, we got locked up at 89. I think he told about 97 or something, or 96. <laughs> we, 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 we talking shit in the fed. We like, yeah. man, you, nigga, we, we, his mother locked up, his aunt locked up. We, 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 going, we, this, we living by it. So when he told me, like, it, like, it, it like crushed it, you know, the whole city. You know what I'm saying? Me personally as so a he, he, friend, he, too. Yeah, he was going on the news and shit, talking and shit, telling to them, doing all type of like. You, 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 you something to interview them? Yeah, when he, when he did like an interview from jail, he was, you know, he was. Cocky and shit. In the you know beginning part. You talking about the beginning part? Or you talking about what he, what he actually told? <laughs> he had them probably told by then. No, no, no I, 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 I think all the interview, I think I think he wasn't a foreman when they were doing the interview. When he's over dying, so he's showing the watch. Yeah, you know? yeah. Nah, I, nah, he wasn't working. He wasn't working there. He was in the he was in the the pre-telling stages. No, he wasn't telling. He was being no, cocky. No, he was no, cocky. No, but I mean, he was, he was contemplating. No, no, he didn't have to tell When he called that child. To, that seed had to be in there. Yeah. Right. right. <laughs> he had already, you right, James. He was thinking about it. He had already, yeah, he was, he was trying to see how they finna work out. He was on the fence about it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> when, he called, when he called that other child, like, you know. Oh, he called another charge? Yeah, he called another charge, yeah. What was the charge? Oh, yeah, he was serving briefs. Yeah, he was hustling. He was hustling. He had a whole other plug. The bra was the gazella. Uh, what's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, her, her sons. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Blanco. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, he was. Oh, so he was making moves from in there. Make a move from in there, and, and like you said earlier, they say cuz like it ain't no cuz with the talent shit, right? <laughs> but but in, but in his brain, his so called saying based on the, with the street saying that. They got caught and told him he and I told back, but it ain't no cuz on that, right? Oh, he told Oh, he, he told, told back. That, that's what his philosophy yeah. is. It ain't no telling back, though. Come on, It ain't man. no telling back. It ain't no telling back. You know what I'm saying? Like you said earlier, the cause. Like, you know, you can't use the cuz, Joe. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, so he told back. Hey, look, no. Look, look. That, that, you know, motherfucker gonna say whatever. Yeah, 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 you know. But, but it ain't it ain't none. You it know what I'm saying? Like, like, that it, shit. You tell, you tell. But real like, shit, though, now that you say that, that's how a lot of niggas be feeling. Like, <laughs> oh, tell they back. told, so I'm, I'm telling back. Like, yeah, nah, these yeah. niggas. Since, yeah. since I'm the second hand nah, teller, it's not bad. It's like, race telling now. I gotta tell first. Yeah. That's what these niggas on now. Like, get down first. Yeah, they race telling. Man, but like, you gonna get, and you certain, gonna get and it. And certain people, like like with him, you got a history of your, your mother, your grand, everybody was hustlers. Yeah. So you don't get no claws like that. You don't. Nobody. It ain't no claws. Yeah, for that. man. You know what I'm saying? You, it ain't no claw. You like with like the little, what's the little rapper dude that went bad? I told my son he gonna go bad from day one. A little the colorful hair. Oh, Takashi. Takashi. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a nigga like that saying something. He a nigga might can say, well, he shouldn't got it anyway. But somebody that lived by the coals is born in it. Yeah. You don't get that. You don't. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't yeah, get yeah, that pass yeah, like that. You know what I'm saying? Never. Yeah. 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 You know. You signed yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. What kind of money y'all get? They said what three hundred million thousand a week. I don't know. Three hundred million. I never heard that much money. I need to see what that down here like. <laughs> <laughs> you see what that? Jay, no. you see what that? Shit, <laughs> you, <see what> <laughs> no. no. you too. <laughs> we get a lot. We get a lot of money. But that was three hundred. Ain't no three hundred million. Them numbers, if they all, this shit down everybody the numbers be blown up. Oh yeah, for everybody. sure. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? Because like I tell people, because that makes the case better. It, it, right, and then you got people with the jewels like they making that, and I ain't making it for thirty thousand. You know what I'm saying? Then well, it's like with the government, if they got, if they came here, this whole table full of keys, you gonna say, man, they just busted for a hundred keys. When they do the math, they're gonna do the math for every dime bag and it, all them keys. They gonna do the, and that's the number they're gonna give you. They gonna, they gonna, the gram, they gonna, they gonna gram, gram that nah, shit up. Nah, they, they gonna do worse than that. They gonna do it <laughs> off the pureness. Like they gonna they would have cut this, mm -hmm. so they probably made two out of this. Yeah, that's right. And that's then break that all the oh, way down yeah. to the yeah. and whip it. They gonna whip it too. Like some <laughs> niggas gonna whip. <laughs> <laughs> So that's another that's another eighteen years. Yeah, them folks turn that shit to yeah, yeah, three hundred million. Oh yeah, them, yeah, them, yeah, them people got the system, Damn. man. It's they game for real. So you what know? kind of time you got cut off for telling? I mean, I don't know. It came on news every day. They post, they say supposed to get like thirty months left or something like that, right? But we'll see. They've been saying they gonna come on forever, so. He get out. What you think? He gonna, you think he gonna? He 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 gonna? He, gonna, he, he probably gonna, gonna be one of them Alpo niggas. Nah, he gonna be one of them niggas. Think he gonna justify? What you think? I mean, if he if he if he got sips, I think he should have. He should stay out of the way. You gonna interview him? He'll stay out of the way. And all my buddies keep asking me that. <laughs> <laughs> and all, all my buddies keep on saying, yeah. man, you gotta put your your, your principal you to the side. To, you gotta be the first one. Exactly. All that, right? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna revisit that when they get there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna revisit that when they get there. You know what I'm saying? I'm revisit that get there. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm about to order. I'm about to interview the chief of police in DC. So when I get when they see me as a real motherfucker. Uh, Interviewer that I might be you already there. Yeah, 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 you yeah. already there. You already there. Yeah, yeah, but right, but right now. Send you that right for up, right for the street. But, but, but right now, you know, you know. What's the first question you go ahead and dig? Why? why? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's just, that's all I can say is why. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's. it's I'm gonna tell you the truth. Like, I told somebody, if I would have been a better man, I would have bet he would have never did it. I wouldn't have, I would have lost my money. You know what I'm saying? I would have lost God. my money. Yeah, I would have lost my money on that. You know what I'm saying? So that would be the number one question. Why? You know what I'm saying? You know, Is there anything you can say to make you accept his wife? No, nah, because he, he 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 ain't crazy. He know the game. Like, he know he can't say to make nobody accept it. He can have his reason, but it ain't going to be a just reason. But I still want to know why. Like, what you thinking about your family? Dudes that's tied to you? Your grandma you know and shit. When, yeah. yeah. When, he first, when that shit first hit the fan, I literally had to... Put my hand on two dudes, one in the bob shot, one in the mall, just because that's his man. And da, 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 you know what I'm saying? When it first hit the fan. You know oh, y'all tell it. That nigga gonna kick it up. Yeah. Nigga yeah. see you know this your man, nigga be like, y'all telling. Yeah. Bro, I ain't told yeah. shit. Yeah. That's his man right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, what the fuck that be? I know niggas that took pussy and killed babies and all that. You gotta give me everybody, everybody's uh, rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, but yeah, it's, it's a sad thing. But on the real, on a serious note, on a personal note, though, it, 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 it was. 
it hurt me to see him do that. You know what I'm saying? And, and for the city, it crushed the city though, because we used to we still had our lay our head he on the that hero. dude, dude, dude standing up in our nigga. city. He was that nigga though. Yeah, but it's a lot. It's, it ain't a lot of rape, but it's a lot of dudes in the city that passed that test and still, and we used to brag about that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We used to brag. Like we all like, with, like with New York and DC always had like a little unspoken little rivalry. Yeah. Mm, so, right, yeah. so, 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 so when you in jail or you on the streets, you like, nigga, nigga, bar all them niggas hot. And you get a name and rock a nigga's hot. And you like, oh, nigga, that one out. And we, ain't nobody tell her. Yeah. So when he did it, it was like, that's the, that's they blow that motherfucker trumpet every chance <laughs> every chance they get you know what I'm saying y'all so, main man yeah 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 so that that was the, the black out of that right but you know everybody got to you know face their own destiny you know what I'm saying so hey. just gotta see how that play out what about Apple what the fuck is this in my cup what, what about him? what kind of nigga Apple was <laughs> like a piece of chicken <laughs> the, the, the Apple the Apple I know I got locked up in 1989 I know him from like 86 to 89 the Apple I know was trying to get some money you know what I'm saying he was hustling. He wasn't getting nobody lame. Fuck on a few little bras. Excuse me. When I got locked up in 89, different 89, probably 90 to the two he went to jail, he ended up had to trade with the same because for real, for real, like the, the mystique, niggas was on his ass. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was, trying, right. niggas was trying to rob, niggas trying to kidnap, niggas trying to kill him. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but, so he, I guess he changed with the climate. But before then, it was it was all business. Was like, he was a dude that come in town that got, had some joints. And dude was working. Oh, you say he one of them niggas that let the game turn them sound like fuck that. I ain't finna be the nigga. like this the way the game play. He finna play it how I play. I mean, I, I, if he was here, I probably, that would probably be his explanation. But I'm just saying the fact before '89, I ain't seen none of that in him. I'm not saying he was that he wasn't capable of doing something. Yeah. I just seen a dude that was was trying to conduct business. You know what I'm saying? Then I know when that you gotta understand when Ray went in, the streets dried up. You know what I'm saying? Them little bit of Jones, he was bringing down, couldn't feed the whole city. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Niggas, niggas was niggas was was trying to put niggas in trunk. Niggas were on niggas line. Niggas you was breaking law would tell you to meet up to bring you a move. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you know, I guess I guess he had to just do the time. But that I, I ain't know that apple right. Like I, the all shit I was hearing in jail, I was like what? Like I couldn't I couldn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? So you, that, that's how that's how it was. Oh, so he ain't, he ain't never. You ain't saying when he got out, you ain't go, you ain't go to the party to have fun? He ain't had no party for that, man. <laughs> that's another, that's another, this shit is what? crazy, man. They ain't had no party for that nigga down there, man. He ain't, I, nobody never really seen him in, uh, and I seen him, it was the, the uh. But shit, didn't they get knocked off at the club? No, he t- no, that's no, he's in New York. That was in New York. He talking about you talking about party like an hour. Yeah, they said D- they had a DC. party in DC. Hell no, man. I don't know who the fuck started. And it, what, what, what's, what's the dude? The, 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 the big meat. I seen him get interviewed one time. On he was in Whistling. He was like, yeah, man, that's crazy. They say he having a party in DC. I ain't never think DC. I'm like, when a dude got credibility like he got. You don't repeat shit like that that you don't got no facts on yeah, like that. That was just extra. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I understand yeah. it, it was out there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's like, who the fuck gonna throw a party? Who gonna come? He ain't gonna come to that party. You know what I'm saying? So that's the crazy thing about it, right? That I ain't never seen him. I'm not saying he can't peep in DC, but since he was home, I never seen him in DC. I never know nobody who know him saying, you know what I'm saying, that actually seen him. But I'm not gonna say he ain't he ain't ease back in there like that, but no, nah, that was They that say was he big. got out like kind of delusional. Trying to got them think he finna be back like back in the day type shit. Yeah, but I mean that's the that's the culture now. The culture, they don't care about your about your jacket if, if you can Get a couple of dollars with them, help them get a couple of dollars. They turn their back on all that shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like that's the it ain't that that culture we talking about. That's gone. You know what I'm saying? That's gone. Like it, it, back then, when nigga come back like that, it was a community effort to get him out the way because he, you you bad for everybody. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Sure. I could be in a restaurant, nigga be like, man, boom. You, you, what's name was on your case? Yeah, he up here now. I'm gonna talk to him for a little while. Like it was a team, and that dude might never break law with you, but yeah. he knew the importance of it. he. Yeah. He was definitely yeah, to the yeah, street. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, that's yeah. gone now. Yeah, 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 dude, yeah. I'm saying dudes yeah. come on with plugs that told and serving everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like it, huh? it, 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 I seen dudes that told come home with plugs and they serving people. I ain't mean to tell that time. I don't know what the fuck I'm they talking like, about. Yeah, and especially <laughs> when they play with the gun. For some reason, the streets think of a nigga play with the gun. He his mental different. Like he ain't no that shit. If it's in you, it's in you. What you, you saying? Mean? Like I'm saying, a dude that be busting his gun. Yeah. Like a nigga that's killer. Nigga that ain't known for for killer. Dude just already assumed that he ain't gonna tell. He ain't gonna tell. Yeah. If he got work, man, he uh, he, he he did. But I'm telling you, he dig a cold killer. Yeah. He didn't see that. Hell you know what I'm saying? But them the ones that be feeling like, you know what? Fuck them niggas. I'm gonna deal when I get on the streets. Yeah, them you know silver bags. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and then they got two or three yeah. other niggas that told that they team up. And they really come and see niggas, you know what I'm saying? But again, see about that too. But the community, ready to yeah. kill and steal. 
That's that's because <laughs> the, that's because the community lost the after the team effort to to, to eliminate. Yeah, because because back in the day, like man, if a nigga told man and the nigga came back to the street trying to be regular man, niggas got exterminated expeditiously. And, and the crazy thing about it, guess what? They ain't even trying to come back and be regular because they, they even know. Try, they, knew. they ain't even come back to try to be regular. But they the ones that did want to step out there mm-hmm. and you know kind of. Nah, Whatever. they was already hard in jail too. Mm-hmm. They telling in jail, come back to the dome. What? I did mm-hmm. it. So what? Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like it's it's the it's the like he says the climate. It's the like, climate, man. Shit, nigga, your roommate done to ask you, why you why you need to go on? Tell them fuck what they wanna know, bro. <laughs> and then and then <laughs> it's just, yeah. and then the <laughs> generation now the generation now they they don't got no bylaws. You know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's like you, they, they just it's like you, you back in the day you get a puzzle and all the pieces there. They give you a little structure. How to, they don't got that right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They just freestyle. Yeah, they freestyle. So they freestyle. They shit. Yeah, they freestyle. Yeah, these yeah. niggas nowadays don't give a fuck about no OGs. No, really. like, oh, yeah. the smoke they give a fuck OG. your ass. The smoke you OG. Yes. Oh God. Like, don't give a fuck. Man, got them, get how out how much honorable way. shit you done did in the community? Yeah, bro. How many bricks you saw? How many niggas you killed? Nigga, you dead. Sad. It's sad. The crazy thing about it, I work with that demographic. They brought a tear when, to my when, when when they go in, they not they they not the way they living. A lot of them don't be like that. I mean, far as like back in the day, your nigga kill you when you catch him anywhere, you can be in the safe way with a plastic knife, you gonna get the same action. Like a lot of them, they just be like they desensitized. Yeah. It ain't it ain't that they more they they doing crazy shit. Don't don't downplay that. Yeah, nah. But they doing shit more from desensitized. Like they don't even really. Understand the ramifications, the repercussions. They, it ain't like they fuck you. They don't know to fuck you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I was t- talking to my friend. We was in, you be in the store. You see a young lady that's thirty and under. She buying chicken. She got a tank top on. You can see the nibbles in her shirt. <laughs> in, in my brain, you ain't looking at the mirror. But in her brain, since she been living, this been on TV. This this normal. You know what I'm saying? So they only live it in their time. Like you, you, you beat them. She ain't no freak. That's that's what she know. Yeah. Her favorite singer, did, you know, do that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they just they desensitize and they don't really understand. They don't have no male figures in their life. None. Like we had the father, even stepfather, uncle, OG, basketball coach. Uh, you know, somebody. The principal was a male. Mm-hmm. Like all they surrounded is females. No knock on females, but they parole off the female. The security in the jail, the female. Everybody a female. So even when you talking to a young dude and you ain't even getting aggressive, you might just say, yeah, man, I'm just, your tone went from five to eight, but you ain't said that disrespectful. I mean, who you talking to? Just because yeah. you're told. <laughs> they ain't used to a man they even dealing with. Yeah. They used to a woman coming. You okay, what you, 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 you about to make me beat you up? And no, nah, Miss Anderson. You know, and then they can maneuver them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like two-day defense. They just don't know. They ain't, they ain't had that what's name. That's why we got to step up as a team, as a unit. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's what we gotta do. Mm. What you think was more uh, detrimental to black culture if you if you put it on the scale like crack and crack to the black community or now like even though it has its blessings, mm. social media to clout. Well, I said social media, but yeah, clout. social media kind of go shit. with clout. That's what I'm yeah. Crack or clout or crack or social crack media? Clout. That's, that's a good question. Crack well, clout. I'm I'm gonna say this. Go on, y'all. I'm gonna stick with the crack only because the the, the, the residue from the, the side effects from the crack is the reason why they acting they acting on the with the clout. Mm, yeah. Cause because 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 we sold all that that three hundred million the Rayful Kirk Bone Big all these motherfuckers that were selling all that shit. Mm-hmm. We took we took the father we took the father and them out the house. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like in the seventies and the sixties when dudes was, when her was the epidemic, you only took really the father out the house. The mother still was there. Booting everybody up. Mm. We took both parents out. So now you talking about they raising themselves. So they already know the best. So now you seeing them acting out and having Tim and Chad in the way they behave because they ain't had no teaching. So the clout is, cra- is, is, is out of hand, but I think the crack was the beginning stages of this is the side effects of the long term of it. You ever have like regrets about just like your place? In the yeah, way? yeah, yeah, definitely. But I definitely have regrets about that. And, um, it fucking me to the day in, in certain in certain situations. You know what I'm saying? When I'm out or I'm talking to somebody or I'm 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 mentoring a young and I'm looking at his mother or father, you know what I'm saying? And you know, so it, it fucked with me a lot, you know what I'm saying? But it's like and like I tell people, I wasn't naive that selling drugs wasn't wasn't a good thing. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna sit there and tell you like I ain't want niggas say no for somebody else would have sold them. I knew it was a bad thing, but what I didn't understand, they got a law out that's for people that's, that's been killing. They come home, they, they like a lot of dudes that kill under twenty four under. They coming home after doing 20-something years, they had 40, but they let them out because they did a study that the brain 
don't fully develop it after 24, 25. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you can't make a good long-term decision. Mm-hmm. You know what you're doing current, but not a long-term decision. So I'm using that to say, I knew selling drugs wasn't right, right? Hold me to that. Mm-hmm. But what I didn't know was, I'm selling, got them high, so now his little daughter in the house without no parents in there, so she going to school selling her little body, mm. trying to keep up. Your son got robbed and getting locked up, getting twenty. I ain't know that part of it. I ain't know yeah, I was yeah, affecting yeah. that. Yeah. I didn't see him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I yeah. ain't see his house. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so that's that's what I'm yeah, really, shit, really, 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 really sorry about. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't know. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Shit. But I knew the son just wasn't right. Come, yeah, come, come, coming back into the world after doing your bid and just looking at how the climate of the streets changed and anything. If somebody asked you. Is there any hope for the streets? What would be your reply to that? It's hope, but it's a long-term joint. It ain't gonna be no short, quick joint. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, the, the younger the day, man, is that money moving? But that money moving, like these youngers got, they dreaming big. Like they ain't somebody want no no bands. They want they want Bugattis. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They want they send all this shit on social media. So mm-hmm. it's gonna be a long term joint. But it's just like, but we gotta find a way, man. We can't be scared and we can't be saying young gonna kill everybody. They gonna kill all the whistling. We we gotta we just gotta. It's gonna be a long term fight. But I don't think I think it's hope. But it's gonna be it's a, it's it's a long term it's a long term fight. Everybody gotta get in the game. Everybody got to get in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, yeah. you ain't got to, like you doing your podcast. You might don't got time to go check a young nigga and have him, meet him every Saturday and Sunday and all that, right? Mm-hmm. But you can be in your favorite T.I. restaurant. You see a young nigga buffing tables and you come in twice a week, give him 50, 60 dollars and, and talk to him. Like, man, what you doing really way impressive what I did. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had no courage and, and work for my Murray Burma's giving on some of you job. I never had a some of you job. I was trying to get the fast money. So a dude that got that patient to do that in these time and days, mm-hmm. when he turn on his phone and he see all the young niggas age and, and die, Dubai, mm-hmm. that's pressure, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So you got we gotta applaud these people, hug them, love on them, you know what I'm saying? And and and, 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 and let them know, man, just stay there, man. You know what I'm saying? Just, just stick with it. It's tough. Mm-hmm. And do what you can do. You can't do it all. Do what you can do. Mm-hmm. I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like that. What's some of the DC rappers you fuck with coming from DC? What's some of the ones you put your stamp on? Well, I fuck with all of them. I'm a little biased. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I fuck with <laughs> Shy, uh, uh, A Baller, Young E Class. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shout out E Class, my uh, dog. Uh, 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 yeah, my man just uh, uh, went in, uh, uh, locked up. Was my man locked up? Just went in. Oh, uh, Virginia. What's his name? From 37. Fat Trail. Oh, Trail. Trail out. Trail out. Yeah, he been out. I thought he got locked back up, though. Nah, he just hit me two days ago. Yeah, yeah, he Fat Trail. Yeah, okay. Wale, Wale, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, like, Shout out to yeah. Wallace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mess, I mess with all of them, man. All of them. It's, it's, it's a good movement up there. Yeah. It's a good movement up there. How it make you feel when you hear your name in the raps? I mean, it, 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 it's cool because it make you feel like you at least play in that world. You at least play the right way, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, where they feel um, with the, you know, the, the, the brand you with to that, speak right? On you, to speak yeah. on you like that, right? Mm-hmm. But I like it more so because it give me credibility to the work I do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So now, so when I meet youngers now, even they even they tense up when they Google you. Then when you go back around, it's a different bump. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like so I like that part of it. So that's why I do a lot of this and stay with me because like you said, like you said, like. Like all the shit I did, I can't even show you pictures shit we did because we was training to take the pictures. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I can't even show you the shit we did. But the fact that they can Very Google well. me now and see, mm-hmm. I, I I I I use that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like so that's what I, that's what I really like about it. Well, a young dude like said, man, shut up. You know what that is? You know what I'm saying? So and, and, and I can spill. You ain't gonna say for everybody, but I can at least spill. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's some of the biggest game of gems that you be you be giving the young boys, like personally, like in your programs and when you just talk to people and even if they ain't even trying to hear all this? Right. My number one thing to anybody, young and old, know yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, know yourself. Make the foundation strong. You got a young dude, whatever you put in somebody young, it's, it, that's what they gonna fall back on when, they, when adversity comes. Like, I, like my favorite saying in the world is adversity induce a man to himself, right? So like she just say, like Ray might have had in his brain all that, right? Mm-hmm. Something in his core probably came back into play. You know what I'm saying? So when you put that good story, like we build a house, you build that foundation strong, mm-hmm. It's gonna, it's gonna when that bad weather come, that it's gonna lean back on that foundation, right? So I try to tell a young dude. Get a what's name? When my grandmother come around to DC, she lived in PG County. She came in my like my neighborhood and took me to church on Sunday. I ain't wanna go. But when I went, it gave me foundation, it gave me capacity. So now when I'm on the streets leading dudes on beef now, I can say, she owed me that money, but mm-hmm. I ain't gonna bust her head. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I ain't gonna put her in the dirt. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? What's the person? <laughs> 
versus the person that didn't have that, 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 that didn't have that teaching. They gonna be like, man, burn her ass up. She should have never got it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like so. So that foundation is key. You know what I'm saying? Sweet, humble man. Oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm just saying. But he's just saying the difference. Yeah, no, no, it's the difference. That means a lot. That means a lot. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what you think the biggest myth is like about a a, a DC nigga? Like the biggest lie they ever told, and the biggest myth about a DC nigga. Oh, man, that's a couple of them, but I was, I'm gonna think of one that, that irritated me a little bit. All I'm on boys, <laughs> the faggy joint. Oh man, that, that, that's 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 a that's a that's a that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a joint. Well, how that shit start, bro? I mean, truthfully, man, I feel like it started because you hear a lot of dudes that was locked up. Like you know, if you got anybody that was locked up, I don't give a fuck what city yeah. And they gonna tell you about the DC do very very ignorant in them joints. You know what I'm saying? They gonna be yeah. real aggressive. They gonna when they come in the compound. They gonna find who got who. who they gonna they gonna they gonna flip that joint right. So dudes that had bad experiences with them, them be the most to do with that trumpet. Now I'm not saying niggas fucking in jail from all from every city. <laughs> It ain't, that ain't that ain't that ain't no stick on every city. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but you know, you know, you you came right with it. You know what I was talking about. You came right with it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, cause that's cause that's that cause this, it, listen, uh, anybody you can interview from Jeff Ace, what they say? They gonna say Bro. I fuck with DC nigga, man. They do this, they go up. Only thing about them <laughs> is that, right? Yeah. Now, you've been watching jail prisons all your life for penitentiary. Every jail prison you've seen, yeah. every Hollywood joke, a nigga fucking somebody in there. Yeah. Where the fuck they from? You know what I'm saying? But it's like for real, for real, it's the, it's the only block out they can give you. Wow. Like, oh, like, so you said nigga blow the hell out that Trump and that. Oh, they blowing that Trump like, well, slip. <laughs> like, 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 I wouldn't even, like, I wouldn't even give all the DC jails out because it offends too many people. Like, you said, I'm what, about, you ain't doing I wouldn't give a lot of the DC jail stories though because it offends too many people. What you I'm mean? Like, like, what? Man, like, gang leaders and dudes that's strong in their city had a lot of bad experiences with DC dudes. Okay. You say, and then if it's then if it's, then if it's dudes that really wasn't like they had a lot of bad experience with DC dudes. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I see the reason. They were saying that shit. About, you know, they we talk, we don't yeah. be fat. We trying to clear it up because yeah. they they saying shit about Ray for too though, right? Yeah, I heard that. Man, too. He opened up his suitcase. I heard that too. What's suitcase? Not, not suitcase. Oh. They saying he just like you know. The gay shit. So you asked him that? He opened up right. his suitcase. He ain't opened it. He, 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 what, like, what that mean? Open the suitcase. Y'all can't talk about it. She's saying, like, he, he, he done got me. bossed that's over. That's what they call, oh, okay. that's what they call those. You get what I'm saying, baby? Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So, so we, we right here, You say, they yeah. say he got them, he had them boys, like, that's what he was doing. I, I can't speak with it. I'm going to say this. I know dudes. You you ain't never seen us. I know dudes locked up with him in Lewisburg that don't fuck with him because he went bad. But they I didn't even tell me that. Oh, right? okay. They okay. didn't tell me that, right? Okay, okay. But but I also know this is what I know before we before we even went to jail. That's before what we, I'm talking about. We they were saying that before he went to jail too. Before we went to jail. Yeah. Oh. We, before we went to jail, like in DC, like it's a lot. I don't know how it is right here, but a lot of gay dudes. They, that's how everybody sliding and scam now. That was a and I said that was a gay a gay hustle back in the eighties, right? So a lot. Yeah, of the gay, sissy juice scam. That, that, was, that was they hustle. Yeah. So all the sissy always had the jewelry, the, everything. So all them had that money. He had that money. He yeah. buy it all. You know what I'm saying? And when he see him in the clubs, he he still communicate with like the hard down speech to him and all that. They friends. Like, like they like, can come up and hug him. They and come shit, up like, and hug, they come and stand by. But a lot of dudes in the city buying it, doing all the same shit, buying but the same they, shit. But, too. but when they come, they stay ass over there. Don't even come stand by me. Don't do that, right? But, <laughs> right, 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 right. But that went that went that went back <laughs> to his disposition that he was doing. <laughs> and he said, I can do what I want. And I'm calling him. So and on the street, I used to tell him, I say, God damn man. You gotta stop, you know, doing it. He's like, man, I don't want to kill the people. You know what I'm saying? That, that before he went in, you know what I'm saying? But, and don't get me wrong, some of, and, and I'm, the, 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 some of the gay dudes they was talking about, I know some of them. You know what I'm saying? One grew up with me. You know what I'm saying? Around our neighborhood. Like, like, like yeah, nah, nah, for real, for real. Say, He was saying it too? Saying what? He was saying that he did it with Ray. <laughs> nah, man, nah. I'm saying what? Nah, nah. That's, he the dude that's, that's said the they street, did it with him. That's the streets, man. So he ain't never get outed, basically. That's the streets, man. That's the streets. That was the streets. So basically, just whispers. Right, the streets was saying like he too friendly with him. He ain't saying that shit about niggas yeah. who ain't doing that shit though. Like yeah. I'm just being real. Streets, you know how niggas saying that the streets like they don't make up certain shit. Mm. I ain't saying right. he did or didn't, mm. but like, but a lot of shit. Don't was impl implode yourself around that type of business. Mm. How I'm finna just like, that's just like right now, you went to jail, you did your time, mm. solid nigga, you back out here helping the youth chain, right. woo woo. What the fuck you look like being in the rap meeting? 
Being who? Like a rat me. Like like oh, niggas just oh, like oh, you just oh, oh, yo, oh, hang yeah, around huh? yeah, yeah, like what, you just right. a like you just hang with rats. How? Right. Right, yeah, 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 cause that's like the hardest, but, 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 the hardest but see, things but, to get off but, your name. But the red joint is a is a is a principal joint, right? Me know the niggas is gay. That ain't the gay shit. Ain't, 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 it's not, nah, he ain't saying it. He ain't saying it. Nah, I don't yeah. got a nah. motherfucker gay. I don't got no. I don't no, got no, got no problem. I'm saying as far as like principles. Nah, he ain't saying that. Nah, you said not fucking them principles. I'm saying socializing. I'm talking about socializing. Socializing. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 we cool. There's no, there's no hey, problem. Hey, hey, I ain't gonna don't say, don't say them yeah. too because because you gay. That's your problem. I don't, I don't take it. Yeah, that's, that's that you. turns into homophobia, and that is something that we do not condone. Nah, ain't, nah hell, like we ain't complaining. I'm saying like if they saying I'm this, I need to remove myself because something that I'm doing is just make because if, if I'm not, so that. Because what like, would even give you the idea that that is acceptable in my space? But you know. Yeah. Yeah, social that's what I'm saying. Like, I ain't saying I mean, I mean it's 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 to each his own. I'm saying for example, if it's the the dude selling them a jewelry, selling them all type of shit, then they see later on the club and they come in hard. They feel at you. like y'all are cool because you just spent money. You just with spent me. seven, eight, ten, fifteen thousand with them, they come in hard at you. A nigga, it's certain dude like like with me. This they think we cool. They ain't right. I'm just, I'm just, but, but, but it go back to what I said. It, 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 go, it go back to what I said. Do they say the core? You gotta know yeah. who you are. Exactly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like exactly. like 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 exactly. like 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 the public. Exactly. The, the, public the public can't dictate what what, 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 what I think. You exactly. Know what I'm but so at the like, end yeah. of the day, well, I'm, I'm gonna keep it one hundred. Yeah, no, no, what he done did is he has shrunk in his credibility to whatever nigga say about him is believable. Mm. But when he went back, the code when he went back, he went back. Right, 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 right. Was like, yeah, I can kind of see that on you. Yeah, yeah, you went back. You know what I'm saying? Look, look, look. I can kind of see that on you. Know that you don't, did that. Don't mm. don't confuse it. I'm not defending. I'm just saying you pre for we went to jail. Yeah, 19 from 86 to 89. I'm saying the behavior I seen out there was started. The talk. The, the you know, chatter. The start yeah, of the chatter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it's like then when you go in and whatever you did, break whatever you broke, that makes it that he might be really fucking with boys. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So I exactly. understand I understand where the development came from, but I'm just asking you a question from what I was for eight now, I ain't been around in 30 years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dudes I know was locked up with him, they ain't came back and be like, you know, they be like, they ain't tell me photo, but he might have did. But I'm just saying, I ain't heard it. You know what I'm saying? He might he might did, but I ain't heard it. Yeah, yeah. but right. that, that's the biggest thing on DC shit though. That gay shit is just, they gotta stop that, man. What you think the best thing is that y'all get, like, oh yeah, them DC niggas be doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like the best. Sticking together. Okay. Sticking together. Uh, 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 we, like, 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 we, we look at DC like how the NFL look at the logo, the NFL logo. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like, and, some, and, and sometimes, like, you be, like, say you be locked up, be somewhere, you might be somebody say, say some line dudes. I'm just using this as an example. They might say, man, they getting in something. Man, shit, they from the other side of Atlanta. They ain't from there, you know what I'm saying? We could be down here and see a DC dude get into it. No, he from DC. You know, oh, yeah, he might yeah, not yeah. fuck with each other like that because we was kind of trained to protect that logo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially when yeah. it kind of started like in the penitentiaries like years ago, like when we was talking about the jail shit, right? Like a lot of like a little story, like, like when you want to hear about some jail shit, don't talk to a nigga from, I don't care what city from, that's talk from their feelings. Talk from a dude that's really a cold man. That ain't he just going on what happened? Cause dudes got to tend, even DC do. Dude, dudes got to tend to talk highly about their city. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. And don't restate the facts. That's the way the story. That's the way the story, right? Yeah, 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 so yeah. it's like, 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 it, it, like, like, it's, it's, it's reason around the why it's like that. Like, I'm gonna take y'all way back when Earn Brotherhood they was punching everything that's black. I don't give a fuck what your area code was. You know what I'm saying? And they had a system with the police popping your shit when you on the visit while you handcuffed, while you on the shower. They, because them niggas was racist on a uh, motorcycle. Niggas Earn Brotherhood was on the street, right? Yeah. DC was what the first city that came together because they they, they they took some L's on that joint yeah. and they started slaughtering, hitting guards and everything. So that's where the mystique came all the way back in the 60s and the 50s. Where like, so this is another thing that people don't know, like self-consciously, and you might don't probably remember the story, but like when you be young, when you young, like a, like a dude for your uncle that been in jail, I guess that's Uncle Mike. He stay in Lord's Road, what's his name? Yeah. When a nigga young, I don't what city get what he say. You go to jail, nigga, them white boys, them DC boys gonna get on you. So the mystique been in your brain 40 years, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So when you go there and see shit and spurn shit, it's like, ah, that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of dudes just be emotionally tied to it, like, it is what it is, it's like, New York niggas started rap, y'all took it, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, <laughs> it is what it is, like, but so niggas wanna downplay it, like, I'm not gonna downplay it, like, niggas in Atlanta getting money, 
I ain't gonna be saying, these niggas ain't getting no, these niggas getting money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. shit, that shit out there, them, them, them hazard lights, that, that got all European shit out there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like, so dudes be too personal with that shit. Mm-hmm. That's why I really don't really get into it, but it's like, for real, for real, it's a reason for that. And then back, so it's like, it's a whole joke that, so it's like, that's where the mystique came. So the DC for all the way back then, that was, we call the jail, it's in our brain. Nigga, nigga, don't let nothing happen. That's the that's the logo. That's you know that's that. So that's kind of like kind of like the mystique. Come. But any asshole nigga from a town that's going real crazy, y'all should be saying, man, man I fuck with these niggas because he, he into that type of shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Crazy right. shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. But you know. But again, I don't, we don't want nobody to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? No, no, well, I, I ain't promoting jail in no shape, no, form, no, or no, fashion. No, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm yeah. Just saying, like you know how you how yeah, you hear certain yeah. shit. Like Atlanta niggas, I know they say niggas is. This way, you know right. what I'm saying? That well, you know what I'm saying? Like right. whatever, like niggas slick, niggas hustlers, whatever. Right, yeah. Like what you know, like when you go in different cities, nigga be like, okay, DC nigga get money, or mm-hmm. DC nigga do this, or these nigga been fly, mm-hmm. these some fly niggas, these, you know right. what I'm saying? Like right. type shit. Perceptions and shit. You know what I'm right, saying? Yeah. Like you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like when you go certain places, like certain cities known for certain shit. Right, yeah. Right. From the niggas, right. that's that's out the streets. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how you determine what type of, <laughs> that's how you determine the whole town mm-hmm. off the street niggas, right. real shit. Right. They're like, okay, mm-hmm. nah, them niggas this. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, the streets, right. yeah. the streets always dictate everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know what I'm saying? You be like, oh yeah, nah, New York niggas be out there whoop the whoop. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? These niggas be that. It's like, mm-hmm. niggas be right. And I got locked up, I was in Oakdale, Louisiana. Before I got locked up and started being around South Dude, I was around Memphis Dude, with New Orleans Dude, Texas Dude, Knoxville. Like, and our brain, they like, man, country niggas ain't, they, they this, they, they, niggas ain't getting the money, them niggas slow, them niggas. And I got locked up around this nigga, I say, no. It's just, we just got different styles. Them niggas showing me pictures of gas stations. You know what I'm saying? I got, I own a gas, I own this, I got cold with this. Like, you just don't know because you're going off, again, who telling the story. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Who, who, who telling the story? So it's like. Be it, they be in They be too emotionally involved. Yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not working on emotion. Like, like, the young niggas I'm into now, they, it's some of them dudes walking around thinking they father was rats. They wasn't rats because a nigga didn't like them. Father was hot. Now, yeah, and that's hot. another thing, too. You know Prison saying? rules. Like, you can't, yeah. you can't really, like, a nigga can say a nigga's a rat all day, but until they produce that paperwork, mm-hmm. you can't really, like, go off that shit, really. Yeah, and then the streets getting so clownish now that they, they, they forgave their paperwork. Paperwork coming, they like this right here. I'm like, what the fuck going? They, they, they made the streets a joke. The streets over because they, they, they make it a joke. That's what yeah. I'm saying. That's over. So yeah, it's their hope. You just said it's over. Yeah, the, 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 the street, street, the street, the street, the street, street, the 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 street, and getting your head done, you on a date. Why you keeping a style who rats? But that's how much it commercialized now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know yeah, what's real and what's yeah. not real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. One, time, one time a girl, be like, oh, she might hurt. Like, I don't know that. I don't know about that. But yeah. she might know. She'll you know what I'm saying? She stayed in her lane. But now in the street's so commercialized, it's just like it's going to traffic. Everybody just zigzagging. Yeah. Saying, doing, yeah. Doing, yeah. doing what they want. You know what I'm saying? So now it became clownish. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like it's just, the streets as we know it is over. Thing, but you for, yeah. but lucky for this new generation, they can see the world though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They can they they can see the world, man. You know what I'm yeah. So they, they got to change. Along your journey, who who is the person you say disappointed you the most? Just in life, it could be the streets, family life, personal shit, whatever. Who's the person that? That's a hell of a question. Disappointed Kurt Bone the most. Damn, that's a hell of a question. Let me tweak it a little bit and say myself. Mm. Hmm, that's hard. Yeah. Mm. Damn, why hard. you say that? That's hard. Be, 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 because I know God gave me a talent I could never really identify it. Yes. And I oh. waste a lot of time in the streets, you know what I'm saying, you know, utilize it in a, in a, in a, in a, in a way that wasn't, was, was frivolous. You know what I'm saying? Like, I already know he gave me the ability. Since I was in the elementary, I had the ability to move men. When I say men, my peers. Mm. You know what right. I'm saying? All the way to elementary school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like all the way to now. So he gave me that gift for a reason, you know what I'm saying? Right. But like, so it's like I waste a lot of time in the streets, but boom, he got the whole northeast side. And yeah. He come to the club, they call your name in the mic. I put too much emphasis on that, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, and I'm looking at dudes that used to be the patrol boys that we was like, that bare man, that lame ass nigga, they got million dollar contracts. 10 and 20 million dollar contracts. And like these dudes in yeah. DC getting more money than rappers. Mm. Like, like some women in DC getting, like it's women up there, we're 50 to 100 million. 
You said so it's like so it's like, but they understood the journey. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They understood that, you know what I'm saying? I don't need my name called the go-go. I don't need to be the best. Yeah, player. yeah. I don't yeah. need to be that. I've seen a bigger picture. So to me, I yeah. see myself as the biggest disappointment. But I wouldn't trade nothing how God made me, but I feel like that I wasted I had too much time, you know, bullshit. My sixth grade teacher told me that Miss Ruddick, white lady, uh, she said, uh, you can be the president of the world, you know, they tell you that, and you be like, oh, I heard that before, right? But she said, mm-hmm. but you're a procrastinator. And I and and, and I, it ain't hit me then, but as I started watching my life, I say, damn, I bullshit on a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, I, I'll say me. So what's some of the shit you do, like, to make sure you don't got them disappoint yourself no more, like, what's some shit you do? Just try to be consistent with, like, be uh, small things now, like, uh, making your bed up in the morning, right? Like, little small shit like that. You start off getting one small little uh, something you was done yeah. a day, habit, and then it make you do other things, right? Mm-hmm. Even if I get up, like, if I get up in the morning and rolled over and, and check something. Simple shit. No, I did fucked up. So when I check about who, who eat D and me and me, who saw somebody made a common bone, he killing the podcast my whole day off. But if I get up, don't touch the phone, go brush my teeth, wash my face, make my bed, put my jazz music on, and then check this joint like an hour later, my whole day I get something mm-hmm. done. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So just- uh, You gotta create them little small habits. You gotta make them create them small- It can small, be anything, create, like create, anything. Create them small, just, create them small. Just, just, mm-hmm. just distract you from bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, that's real shit. My podcast a year old, guess how long I've been saying I was gonna do it? About nine years. Every time I did the mic, all right, I'm gonna chill. I ain't ready yet. For no reasons though. You know what I'm saying? Like guys like y'all inspire me. I'm seeing you only talking shit, being you. You know what I'm saying? Being yeah. you. She talking shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like. I draw inspiration for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, like I'm from that old school. Like I stutter a lot. Yeah. If you probably ain't already noticed. So I'm like, man, I ain't, I'm gonna be stuttering. Then, then these motherfucking niggas that uh, push shit on, man, the nigga hot for real. He be with like, I was like, I can't, I can't catch these niggas. Like all this dumb shit going in my brain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who, who I know in that city might can't, can't touch these niggas. You know, all that dumb shit, right? Mm-hmm. But just. Worrying about the wrong shit, mm. you know what I'm saying? So it's like, like now, man. So I'm just one small thing at a time, yeah. getting out there, man, and, 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 and loving it, man. Yeah, shit. loving it. How you reverse and change that mindset? Some of the shit you talk about, like, what, what was the shift? Was it was it just your your bid, or was it just it just click with you? You feel like your mind mature? Like, how did you adjust your mindset to become the man you are today? Um, I'm a, I'm a prayer man, so I pray a lot. Mm. Even when I was breaking the law, I was praying. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, 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 and just and just actually just getting up doing it, stop making an excuse for not doing it, cause we ain't making an excuse for not doing it. Mm. Uh, and it'd be some of the dumbest excuse in the world. You know what I'm saying? Nigga arguing about sports and about breast, LeBron and Jordan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Different little shit. So just trying to be a force have like those small little things, like that making it a bed, it might sound small. Man, that shit works, bro. That shit powerful. Nigga, 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 that shit just put chills on my own. You say that, cause that's the shit I be doing, just the simplest shit. Ever mm-hmm. just make sure you do it every day. Then you're gonna keep like, bro. I'm gonna keep it real. Like I say, like throwing paper out the one. I stopped doing that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I just stopped doing yeah, it because yeah. like that's just gonna make me buck. Like even parking and handicap and shit. Mm-hmm. Like just stop bucking. Yeah. Yeah. Start park regular and walk, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. big, man. Yeah. That's big. Real yeah. shit. Like just this shit. I ain't quite push. there yet. <laughs> right, <that's a> <laughs> me neither. Like I ain't I'm gotta be in the front. Like yeah. just, just little shit yeah. that makes you. Chip away of that bush. And yeah. Then, then even yeah. even at like yeah. baseball, take one base at a time. So you get on the streets early like me, I was successful early on the streets. Home run. So I'm a home run here. Mm. I can look at me like, yeah, that's gonna take too long. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's what you need to do. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm Every saying? Step, you, 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 need to, you need to take that step, yeah. you're gonna be you gonna be prepared for the when it's when it's there, right? Mm. I'm just looking for home run hits. Nah, it's like you know when saying? you fall, it's like when you when you hit a home run, when you fall, I mean you got stud back and swing again. Mm, yeah. Like you can fuck around and make it the third base. And fall back to second. You just gotta get back to third, and then trying to get home. Right, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> shit, real shit. Like, it, it, the, like the quicker that shit get, like lick money never lasts. Yeah. I'm gonna give a fuck what you say, bro. Like you just say yeah. get some free money. You gotta yeah. Do that shit yeah. don't never work. Got to too be easy. shit. Yeah, you got it too easy. Then you gotta raise your hand. Like black men, we prideful. You know what I'm saying? Niggas sit in the house all day long with two dollars and. Back of Uda News, man, fuck them niggas. I'ma figure it out. But that I think I think we gotta, that we gotta cut that out. Mm. I think that's I think that would make us us though, bro. That would make us in that world. But the world now, look, right now we can do business with the buy. But the thing about it is once you start doing what you're doing, mm-hmm. like, okay, 
Stop procrastinating. Mm -hmm. Got the podcast. Mm -hmm. Then it's like, Dream sent me this shit. Like, oh, hell yeah, tell me, come on. Right, this yeah. Shit dope, man. Woman, come on this shit. Right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's, it's now moving on into this space. Mm -hmm. When you procrastinate, you got to give a nigga something to fuck with. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can't be mad that a nigga yeah. want to take you yeah, from zero yeah. to 50, nigga. You have some motion. I'm going to put this right. shit on 75 or put this shit on 85, nigga. I don't need mm -hmm. nothing but a little something, nigga. Right, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I'm already working this shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And don't pull a nigga up when you ain't ready. I'm a hot nigga, hot nigga. They give you attention and you ain't ready. Like, be ready. Be you ready. Know, be ready. Be ready. You know what I'm saying? Whatever be you ready. sell, what we talking about, be ready. Be ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to call you tomorrow yeah. instead of a me. Nah, show me yeah. everything now. Yeah, mm -hmm. Like, I'm ready. ready. Mm -hmm. Whatever nigga ask me about, about whatever yeah. talking about, I'm selling. Yeah. I got it in the car. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, really, you got to have it on you. Mm -hmm. Like, you talking about a product. You trying to really sell a dream. Man, mm. man. You right, talk man. what I'm about to do, what I'm no, niggas gonna see that you doing it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like the robbers you talking about, I've been telling the route, they be like, man, I don't fuck that nigga can't come around no more, man. That nigga switched up. I'm like, shorty, this nigga done been all around the world. Them motherfucking four wings and mama sauce don't taste the same. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That nigga been right. in the back room with filet me young. And mama sauce. They size. taking the shell off the shrimp for the, or the lobster for him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So he don't wanna eat that. He don't wanna do the same shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you gotta grow to him. Why, you know what I'm saying? Why, 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 why black people? Why, like, why do you think they're anti growth? Like, growth is like. Cause we don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't, don't know. Bro, you, don't have we don't to know. know. you don't have to know to just accept it and be happy. No, you got it. No, but I got it. You don't know, bro. When you don't know, bro, you think so small, bro. When you're thinking in that box, bro, this shit is super small. Mm. You don't know nothing or see nothing else. Yeah. But it is everything that's right is wrong in our eyes, mm -hmm. like in certain areas you back then. That's about? true, but what I want to say is, too, for a lot of people, when it comes to growth that they're not a part of, it's mm -hmm. kind of like a, a slick, like jealousy. Jealous thing. and hating, yeah. Because it's like, how are you, how am I right here with you, but you're going past me type mm -hmm. shit? So it's like, okay, I'm finna like find something wrong with your growth so I can discredit it and make myself feel better for not fucking buckling down and doing the same shit that you just did so I can take off too. Yeah, and another, and another thing too, that's that's powerful what you said. A lot of this shit slip is learned behavior. Like, they, our grandmothers and great grandfathers yes. was haters. I been saying that. Learned behavior, learned behavior. I been saying that. Envy. It so, is you know, what so it sometimes is. Sometimes they might to, be ass. Sometimes they might say. I hear my grandma hating like hell on yeah. the roof, bro. <laughs> <laughs> About the lady got up the porch painting yeah. and shit. Yeah. That shit, what it is. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that shit, yeah, 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 yeah. how it goes. Yeah. Like, stop playing, bro. Everything. Oh, they think they hot shit. <laughs> like, I grew up in there. Mm -hmm. Like, the, mm -hmm. like, my grandma is like from like that. Like my family is like you say we from that. Yeah. So it's like the bottom of it trying to come out of it. Yeah. So it's like so it's learned behavior. Yeah. Like you said, you know not yeah. to be a telltale. So what, what's what's the what's the what's the biggest? We just trying to a little bit of therapy. What's the biggest way that personally everybody feel like they progress from that? Because I dealt with a little bit of it too coming from Decatur. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> fuck them niggas. But that's that like Eastside <laughs> shit. Man. It, it can be. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but is it the people you around? Is it seeing the world? Is it opportunity? But yeah, but disappointment. What y'all doing now? Is the this beginning is of it. Like he but, like. Well, he come from dudes that came from, he came from, now they can see him winning. Yeah. You got to you know, know better in order to do yeah, that. Yeah, 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 you got to yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, the sample's being yeah. set now. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The sample's being set now. Example, like, you, you know ain't going to do it, per se, like stop something. something. No, you got to show a nigga that yeah. it can be. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't just tell me, like, okay, I got to stop doing this because this in the way. You got to show me a better way so that I can understand and not look at the next nigga making it. But that better way still might not come. See, this, here's the complexity. That better way still might not come the home run way. Because like, mm. everybody's seeing, like we always say, the end result of it. So it's like, shit, you rapping, you got your contract, you got your jury, shit, you got on. You. But we tell it, though. We yeah. tell it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is a You got to give because everybody, like you say, the lady said, I'm a procrastinator. You can give everybody all the information to the finish line. They still not, some not gonna go, some gonna go. Yeah. So you, it's, it's that. And then a lot of times, when we as people, we, our color do that. I don't like if a dude jumped over twenty mountains and and a thousand flights of steps to get the weed going, he wants you to do more. Mm. You know what I'm right. saying? If you, if you got a shortcut to that, don't let me take all of his. Now, if you got a restaurant and you got the coke, I don't, you don't need to tell me we're making that the, the coke. I gotta tell you that shit that got you burping. You don't gotta give me all your secret ingredients. Mm. But you, well, where you get wholesale meat from? You know what I'm saying? Where, where everybody buying wholesale meat from. You know what I'm saying? How do I get my business license? They don't want to tell basic shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and then when people get businesses, like even like 
that's why it's fresh refresh for people like y'all that's everyday people that's talking the way y'all talking and winning, right? Because it's more relatable. There's some people get to talk like I hear people they, they I see you twenty years ago, fifteen years now I see you, they were niggas ain't getting no stocks out there, what they doing? They like dog. They, they, you you learned that. Don't know about that. Yet. They don't know nothing about that. Teach them. <laughs> go to the beginning part. Mm-hmm. Tell them what yes, you did. Yes. You stood outside of such and such. Yes. Wherever you stood at. Yeah, yeah. And you email, follow up email. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You, you pull your pants up. You like you got to tell them small stuff. Nah, to see, get there. I think now nah, what you're saying is the difference is a nigga that's talking to regular people and a nigga that's talking to the bottom. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. We identify from the bottom. Right. right. Like a nigga that don't got nothing. But his gun and his dick. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like. Yeah. You gotta speak his language. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nigga gotta know, like, bro, you, you still can have patience with that. Yeah. Gun. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You just sit back, protect yourself, and goddamn turn the mic on or whatever the fuck it is. Because one thing about it, everybody got something that they can get paid off of. Yeah. Niggas don't understand that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. Everybody got something that they can make some money off of, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. It's, it, ain't it, ain't nothing, it ain't nothing like it is now. Well, I mean, I'm happy with God put me in where he put me, but a nigga was 21, 22 right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With I the mean, shit you know. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was too when they gave it up now. Like when the old nigga do super much, they be like, man, you got, yeah, man, you just old for you. You young niggas, man. I still want to grind. Yeah, I yeah, still want, shit. I still want to hustle. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I still, you know, I'm still jumping yeah. on planes, interviewing niggas and walking down, walking up on niggas. Like, like, I love it. That's what I know. You know what I'm saying? So like, if I had that energy, them young dudes like the world is nice, man. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you what I feel like the old niggas scared to do, bro. Keep creating. These niggas feel like they gotta follow the young niggas. You know what I'm saying? To be Keep young doing niggas. shit that these niggas. Okay, if we was here for these niggas, yeah. let's do all the shit before these niggas do it. Okay, yeah. podcast. Young niggas gonna get in podcasts. Mm-hmm. Some old niggas need to think of the next level mm-hmm. or some more shit, mm-hmm. some more shit, and some more shit. Mm-hmm. Like, how you gonna stop because, okay, now you wanna got now wear your pants like these young niggas. You wanna yeah. do all the shit these young niggas do and look cheesy, uh? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being real. Like, nigga, create something for our age because our people still growing up too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this shit show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they just plugging our shit, but mm-hmm. that shit for old people. I'm not, I don't wanna go to the club and, and hear shoot them like, Stick music. I don't want to hear that. I want right. to hear some R&B. Let my wife smile in the front row and mm-hmm. Jay laughing all loud and shit. <laughs> See my partner scream over. You know what I'm saying? We creating our own energy. Right. Yeah. That's what I feel like is the the what do you call it? The miss the um the the cross up or the mix up between the old niggas and the young niggas. Cause everybody's trying to you trying to mix it. Mm. Yeah. They say the new I fuck with you on you know, crossing path, but I can't mix it. I'm not into what y'all into. Mm. I'm not against it, but I'm not with it. So basically, you're saying let the old niggas be the old niggas and let the young niggas stay the young niggas. Yes. Yeah, but I, 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 I ain't gonna lie. Young I love the young niggas. I love their energy, though. Me like, too. Like, all yeah. my buddies be ready to talk about, man. They need her. They keep talking with your girl with white talk about. I don't want to hear that, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of them dudes that feel, feel like I'm gonna be 25 till, till I get out of there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I was trying to wrestle with my daughter, my older daughter. She's 29. She's like, Dad, why you walking? I say, walk like I'm young. This is my walk. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 I ain't, I ain't buying into it. I mean, but I agree with what he said. But saying, you ain't bro. trying to be a young nigga. But I like you know to suck saying? the energy up. Like, one, Not for show, sure. Man, I be in there all day. Sure, like, bro, I got sons like, at yeah, 25. Yeah, I yeah. love my. There's all be around them, but young niggas right. to get the, right, the yeah. next mm-hmm. to create to put it with mine and create the next and get the energy. Yeah, you got to like, energy. like. But I'm saying energy. like, I can't. Be in y'all mix here yeah. what y'all talking about and doing. I can't be in that because I I'm not gonna agree. Yeah, I ain't going to the studio and all that. I ain't going yeah. to trap house in the studio and all that. Nah, nah, nah. Man. Exactly. Nah, we can go eat, we can ride, we can take you out, meet you some dudes and all that. But but I, I just like I just like the energy, I like their philosophy, how they think. They so raw, it's like clay. You know what I'm saying? I, I just I just like the energy. I don't like all that complaining and all oh, man, that shit. About to really check out, bro. Yeah, you about yeah, to go, yeah, ain't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, you gotta really, you gotta figure out what a nigga halfway hating all that. Like I, I ain't talking about no kind of old niggas, not no old fuck yeah, niggas. I'm yeah, talking about like yeah. some old players. Yeah, we bringing yeah. the player. Like we about to bring the show to DC too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Soon, real okay. soon. Mm-hmm. Like we about to do some player shit up there. Like the okay. players, we need all the major black cities right. and do some player shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's good. This is what this is. Yeah. That's good. I'm saying this is like, if we don't, we ain't gonna. Ha- I don't have fun in the club, Yanni. You mm-hmm. go to the club, Yanni? No, I don't go to the club. Bro. I can't. How? Nah. My in- my I anxiety. Music, I listen here. Yeah, I listen. I, listen to, I just bumping bum, all the young niggas. I listen to music. I listen to music. Lord, the Lord do the God die. Uh, what's my Lord, young? I killed up Chicago. 
uh, Vine. Of Cake Vaughn. Uh, the Lord Vaughn. Dude, Vaughn. The dude, the dude in Kentucky. Uh, uh, e, e, G. Oh, yeah, ESC. Oh, yeah. I, I listen to all this shit. Them niggas like, going crazy. Like, Damn, yeah. I be like that. I see why these young niggas. I said, I see why these young niggas going crazy to this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be on the train, be on the board, try to get my little walk in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all the time yeah. I got his sister. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I said, that crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I have my flashback, more, my realized more with their music, right? But, <laughs> but yeah, but even with that though, man, like we was talking on a little panel in DC, and I was like saying, they was like the mind thinking of the youngest, right? Mm -hmm. Just imagine that you plant. Your TV game killer, right? Your music killer, your buddies killer, mm. and your mother and the house is empty. What are you gonna do? Yeah. That's the way. You say what are you what are you gonna do? That's the way. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it was a dude that played basketball. I'm gonna leave his name on. He pro material, right? He was in high school a few years ago, and he was like, man, go talk to him. All he needs you talk to him, man. He gonna fuck his career up. Da, 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 da. So I went to Harley and talked to him. Rolled him up. Went and got some eating all that. And I talked to him about, we was about an hour and a half or two, and I had to come back and tell a dude, I say, man, that's a street dude that just know how to play basketball. You know what I'm saying? He really wasn't a basketball player at first. He was a street dude that just happened to be good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like when I'm talking that's to him, I'm that's talking to this young nigga, this young nigga about 19 at the time, or 18 at the time, mm. and we went out to eat. I took him places, and I'm telling you, he ain't had no gloves on or nothing, right? Everywhere we went, this nigga ain't touched nothing with his hands. He had a sweatshirt on, opened every door. Everything I said, this young nigga ain't leaving. He got he got to cut work here. He ain't leaving no fingerprints. Ain't nothing. Yeah, he moved yeah. like a nigga that was the old nigga from the eighties. The old said, killer. Yeah, old killer. Yeah. What's the name? I'm telling him. I said, man, why y'all doing? He said, he said, yeah, man. You know, man, I ain't wanted to go that far, but they playing. They shot at the women and the kids. You know, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. It's an eighteen year old talking to. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, mm -hmm. man, it's war out there for them, man. Really? You know what I'm saying? And we got to hug them. We can't be scared of them. We got we got to hug them, man. If you, you know, and, and, and my method, I, I, if I see a crew of niggas, I identify the alpha, and I give him the attention. You know what I'm saying? When I get the alpha attention. He, I let him do the rest of the talking for me. You know what I'm saying? Create an opportunity for the alpha. They gonna follow the alpha. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you right. so, so so that's one of my little pet peeves you know, that I do when I'm dealing with them like that. You know what I'm saying? And then, and, then, and another thing, when people be missing, they need to take this recipe. The girls. Them girls in the neighborhood, y'all keep talking about them. Holler the little young, the little girls, man, enhance them and with them. They'll go talk to them and bring them to you. Like, it's young as I ain't gonna miss you. Uh, it's girls that be like, okay, okay, uh, Kurt, what you say? I uh, cheese hack fight. We'll be in the six. Don't worry, he'll be there. His little ass be right in the back seat. Real shit. And the yeah. police looking for him and everybody. What, what's up, OG? What, what's going on? Like, yeah. like, 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 you gotta use the whole real community. Shit, the real shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas with yeah, yeah. Right so it's like, man, yeah, 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 nah, yeah, 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 right yeah definitely, man. So they gonna like, follow her. She oh, know. Oh, she know, and she know how to handle them. Yeah. You right. know what I'm saying? He's a stupid ass. Yeah, that was him yesterday. I said, we gotta go that crazy though. That's his dumb ass. Nobody knows that. They handle them, right? <laughs> yeah. But it's like for real. You gotta, you gotta go. It's like they say back in the village raising. You gotta fuck with the whole village. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You got, you gotta attack this shit, man. You know, I need to be able to call down here. Like, man, I got a young coming down, and he. He in the studio with whoever, man, with Kenny Hollis, you for an hour. If you busy, can you like, let her go hard at him? Let him see his future in his presence. Oh, that's you know what I'm saying? I'm somebody from that. yeah, somebody from Atlanta saying, her a lot about you. You know, these you blah, blah, blah. that's gonna be big on those. Gonna be big mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. them. Well, some gems you wanna give the the, the the big facts supporters and everything before we slide, man. Like your biggest gem, your biggest piece of game. Uh uh, shoot. My, my, well, one of it, like I say, I always go to that joint, learn yourself, know, know yourself, uh, so you can always adapt to any situation. Mm. Uh, don't let no peer pressure lead you to nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's uh, a good jam. To, uh, to nothing. I don't, care, I don't care what it is, man. Stand on your word. You know what I'm saying? Be honorable on your word. Mm. However you walk, people going to watch your walk. You can talk that slick shit, all that mm -hmm. hoods on. People going to watch your walk. If you go in every hood, any hood you grew up in, just think about this person. That went walked through this hood every day, went to school, did he did, kept his job, trouble just went all around him. Right. They'd be like, they be like nah, that's Mike Mike right there. You know, he supposed to go to the show when you in college. He walked through that same shit, but people, he made the neighborhood say he ain't with that. Mm. He chose that life. Mm. Yeah, shit. And if something happened to him, right. they gonna fuck some shit up. Yeah, yeah. Mm. For him. You say, so you gotta know who you is, you gotta walk. Be confident who you is. You know, it's gonna pan out. Yeah, it's gonna pan out, man. I mean, after you get 20, 28, like 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 basketball point guard, the floor gonna open up. You know what I'm saying? When you young, he's like, this shit fucked up. I ain't know. Just take your time, the floor gonna open up. Mm -hmm. And go back to your go back to your core, man. Be, be confident who you is, man. Don't let no peer pressure on no level. Don't let no money. Don't let every room I go in. I done been in some rooms, some niggas got some bags, some rappers, some 
contract owner. Some, some, uh, what's that? I feel like I'm the baddest nigga in the room. It ain't no assault to the room. That's how I feel. That's how you supposed to feel. That's how I feel. It ain't no assault to the room. And then some, and some oh, can sense that. Like some yeah. motherfuckers, they can sense that shit. I don't fuck that. Yeah. Shit, nigga. Yeah. Because it's their, it's their, it's their fear. Yeah. But the yeah. motherfucker that think like me. Exactly. Like, 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 what's that, man? How long you gonna tell? <laughs> exactly. It's I'm, the I'm coming up. It's, it's an energy. Yeah, so you exactly. gotta put off what you exactly. want. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and don't be afraid. Right. Mm-hmm. That's all. Don't be afraid. I'm gonna say that. Mm-hmm. Don't be afraid, man. Good yeah. game. They can get more of that game on Kirk Bone TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kirk Bone TV, man. YouTube, man. It's my little saying, man. It's, streets not made for everybody. That's why they created sidewalk. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's a little saying we say all the way back in the 80s, right? Mm-hmm. But it's like for real. Yeah. Man, you can see me on Kirk Bone TV, YouTube. Please subscribe. But also, my Instagram is Kirk Bone, C U R T B O N. B O N E underscore D C and I respond like you did me that I might can't respond in a day or two but I when I get time I got an hour where I just go hit people because I mean people mm-hmm. hit me from all over mothers doors I, I love this shit because at the end of the day guess what Slim all that shit I did to get up this little halfway little hood reputation I gotta see the big fella mm. at hey. some at some point I gotta see the big fella mm. you, you feel know like, what I'm saying you feel like you in your purpose right now though like. Yeah, I feel like I'm my purpose. I feel like I'm my purpose. Like, 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 I always was a, a, a trailblazer. Like, when I did a Rayful DVD in 2005, DC, that was a taboo. Now, he bought it. Nigga, I was in the case. So, I'm not talking, I'm talking about my life. Now, I did that, about five niggas done got on Burger B, B, DC, they tell that story. I did the podcast. Now, about five niggas that, for my era. Like, I ain't never worried about what a nigga, what a nigga thinking. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a, a blazer player. You're going to figure it out later on. You're going to see me in the restaurant. Like, you know, I respect that. Real shit. Right. You know what I'm if you don't respect it, you don't respect it. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I definitely enjoy no. the big facts, man. Yeah, yeah. Yo, 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 the big facts, man. This way, <laughs> you know, you offer me no chicken, you don't mess around. Ah! <laughs> they they offer me every nigga, they had chicken fried, they offer me every nigga. I say, God damn, I'll be on the road. Oh, I'm going to take you to Trap City Cafe. Yeah, okay. And okay. we're going to figure that shit out. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Y'all tune in the big facts. Got a lot of friends, but tune in, man. This is real yes. shit right here, man. Big shout out, real much shit, love, man. Kurt Bone. Filling up man. the big facts is www.bigfactspod.com. Salute. Salute.